in the kitchen of Clark Lewis. You know, just a couple minutes ago, William was talking to Angela on the rooftop garden that Clark Lewis uses to grow some herbs and vegetables. I'm with Chef Kai, and Chef, that is such a cool thing that you have a garden right across from your restaurant. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we just started it this year, um, and uh, we're getting a lot of nice edible herbs and uh, salad greens from there. And so, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, so, so you have a recipe today that you're using some of those things. Yes. So what do we have today? Um, today we have a uh, pan-seared Alaskan halibut um, with uh, chrysanthemum, um, little flowering miner's lettuce, and also valerian. Okay. And uh, that'll be dressed with a little bit of brown butter, and uh, the uh, halibut will be coming with some amaranth seed as well. Ah, neat. Yeah. So I know that you already have seared some um, halibut. So what did that go? What are those steps? Um, the uh, halibut, did we simply season with salt and pepper, and uh, we uh, take a little bit of uh, blend oil, which is a mix of olive and canola, and just uh, pan sear it. And then uh, sear it on one side, flip it, throw it in the oven, um, and then uh, pull it out when it's done. Ah, Pretty and simple. then what's the next step from that? Um, the next step from that is we heat up the amaranth with a little bit of uh, veg stock and uh, a little bit of butter and salt. Um, and then uh, just heat it up till it's dry in the pan, and then we go to plate with the, yeah. with the fish. Wow, you know, I know amaranth, I know it as the plant that I have mm -hmm. in my garden, yeah. but you're using, um, using it as a grain. Yeah, we're using it as a grain. So it's a pretty underutilized ingredient, um, I feel, um, and uh, we're pretty much using it as um, the starch for the fish. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really nice, nutty flavor. Um, great texturally as well. Ah. So, yeah. so really your philosophy is not a lot of heavy sauces, not a lot of heavy ingredients. Yeah. You want to taste everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, We, uh, we try to keep everything as natural as possible, um, but uh, while still maintaining that integrity of being a in really ingredient-driven restaurant. Yeah. So. Um, we have a lot of local farms and ranches that we work with. Um, we try to keep it as close to the restaurant as possible. Um, so. Our main purveyors um, include farms like Gathering Together, uh, Viridian Farms, DeNoble, um, and our ranches include um, Payne Family Farm, okay. um, Carmen Ranch Beef. Um, and so, yeah, we have a lot of um, variety that we can choose from as far as depending on the season and also depending on just pretty much what's available, really, nice. we, on a weekly basis. Huh. So. All right, so we're going to put the halibut on the plate. Yeah. So artistic also, very uh, clever. Thanks. And then what else do you have here? Um, now we have the uh, valerian, which I'm going to simply dress with a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of the brown butter and a little bit of the s of salt. And what we're doing is just giving it a really nice sheen. And what this allows us to do is just really let the ingredients kind of pop out. And it's very yeah. interesting for valerian because I've grown it before and the, mm -hmm. all the uses I've ever seen were for more of a medicinal. So this is Yeah, nice traditionally it is. Yeah, we've uh, this is the first year that we've actually um, really tried to do anything with it. And it's um, I found that it's really nice, um, bright green. And uh, nice. it has almost like the taste of like a cross between like a mint and a spinach. Oh, wow. So yeah, really nice and fresh. And what is so, that now you're putting this on? This is a little bit of uh, flowering um, miner's lettuce uh -huh. that we got from our garden. Yeah, which and, is a native, it grows out in the wild. Yes, that is correct. And this is a little bit of chrysanthemum as well. It's a little baby chrysanthemum that we're just actually draping right over as well. Oh, I just love all these greens. Okay. It just has a beautiful texture mm -hmm. and it's just a beautiful presentation. Yeah, and to finish, we have a little bit of the valerian buds that we harvested this morning. And I think as gardeners too, we forget that you could use the flowers of the herbs yes. in your dishes yeah, too. Yeah, they're really salads. nice. They lend a really sweet flavor to everything. Um, I think it really makes the ingredients pop. And we're just gonna finish the sauce with a little bit of brown butter, just right on top of the green, and just a little bit on the side of the fish. Aww. That's it. Chef Kai, that just looks lovely, and I can understand that you wanna taste each individual of those vegetables, all of those greens, and really kind of make that a, just a wonderful taste. Yes, yeah, it uh, has a lot of um, flavor as far as the mix of grains kind of you get herby you get almost like a bitter flavor um, so you get a lot of mixed textures in there as well so it's nice well you have to come out to Clark Lewis and really taste some of Chef Kai's wonderful dishes if you have any other questions go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over their website thanks so much cool thanks